Good afternoon, fellow tankers. I'm Commander Denali, and today we're on our Tier 5 German medium tank, the Hydrostat. The great thing about the Hydrostat is its mobility. It's a quick tank that can go uh, a little over 40 kilometers per hour. It has great traverse speed for both the hull and the turret. It has a very fast firing gun. Um, it can fire something like 13 rounds a minute standard, um, but when you got uh, food vents, um, you know, everything like that, you can get a very quick reload. So, I, like I said, I really love this tank. It also has a preferential matchmaking. Anyway, here we are on Ardenine's map. Um, I'm still not great at playing this map, uh, you know, but with the new physics, I've been uh, having some fun and, you know, climbing some of these uh, hills and stuff and getting into some various different positions. Anyway, um, that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're taking the zero line all by ourselves, and we're going to try to, uh, you know, hold off this flank uh, while the rest of my team assaults the city and defends our base. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try to get up here into a pretty good position to where we can spot, and hopefully our artillery can help us out. So, sorry about everybody else. Um, I didn't mute everybody else for this replay. Um, normally I'm in a party by myself, as you guys normally uh, are aware of, um, but that's alright. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, the only people spotted on the enemy team are uh, to the city, so we may be over here on this flank all by ourselves. Um, you know, which means we might be able to sneak around and kill some uh, artillery and uh, then get some rear shots on some of these guys. Well, speaking of artillery, there's our first customer. It's the tier 5 uh, grill, and as you see, uh, we'll put a shot into him really quick, we'll damage his gun, follow it with another shot, damage his gun again, he'll go invisible, but we're gonna finish him off. And just in case the other two are aiming this way, we're gonna get on top of this hill for a second, you know, uh, go somewhere where they don't think you're gonna be. There we go. And, uh, yeah, maybe we can spot some more customers over here. Nope, oh, doesn't look like that. Everybody's behind cover. So now we're going to, uh, you know, get off this mountain. And we just got detected as well. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go around this way now. See a tank destroyer right there on the mini-map in the uh, G7 area. Maybe we can get shots. We can. Oh, unfortunately, snapshot failed. He's trying to move. Uh, yes, we'll track him. All right. And then we will just uh, finish him off in one, two more shots. And there you go. So, so far, six uh, hits, four crits, and two kills. Also, two enemies spotted. So now, uh, oh, there's another artillery. I was hoping for some rear shots on some of these guys in the city, but this'll, this'll do nicely. So we'll just uh, shoot him on the move. We're pretty much point blank right here. We shouldn't miss. There we go. He's no help. We'll ram. We'll take one hit point of damage on ramming him, but we will finish him off. And there's the last artillery on the enemy team. Uh, he's probably aimed at us, so we got to keep moving. Stay unpredictable. There we go, two snapshots, and then we'll aim in the third one. And we'll finish him off. And there we go, we earned the Piscucci's medal uh, for killing all three enemy artilleries. Oh, that's unexpected. An SE-100 fell back to try to help out his artilleries. Uh, top tier tank destroyer, but as long as we uh, don't get in front of him again, we should be fine. Um, he rotates really slow, so we shouldn't have a problem with our mobility. There we go. And we'll stay behind him, and we'll finish him off. So now we're on uh, 17 damage ribbons, 11 crits, and 5 kills. It looks like this T-150 and this medium tank uh, are uh, tearing up our team over here, so we're going to go assist these guys now. Um, they probably won't expect me coming from this direction. Yep, there's that medium tank. Oh, and he was turning around to try to help out his uh, T-150, so we'll just finish this guy off. Uh, easy enough, an M4 from the rear is, uh, is an easy target. But a T-150, even from the side, I'm not going to use standard rounds, because that's, uh, that's like 50-50. So we'll switch over to our premium rounds, and we'll try to uh, take this guy out. Um, I don't normally uh, do a lot of premium rounds, but on this tank, with the, the lower penetration values on it, um, you know, even from the rear here, as you'll see, I'm, I'm bouncing rounds off. Um, and that's with premium rounds. But from the side, um, I can penetrate just about every shot. Where the standard round would still be a 50-50 chance from the side. Anyway, we're going to do some damage to him. Um, 
Yeah, I know I didn't go, go over all the uh, the stats for this tank at the beginning of this video, but that's because I've already done a review on this tank, and if you guys want to see that, you guys can go to my channel and you can look at that anytime you want. Anyway, this guy's down to a one shot here. Um, we're going to try to get him there and miss. Um, he's going to miss his shot. We're going to bounce, but now we got a side and we'll finish him off. And now we're on a Devastator Metal. Um, so we have a Radley Walters up for grab if we can get to the last guy quick enough. And last time I seen him on the mini-map, he was in the F2 area. So we're going to head towards uh, the area over there where our medium tank's at and try to find this guy. Oh, sure enough, he was in the G2 F2 area. And he's uh, fighting with our uh, friendly medium tank. And I hate to say this, but I hope uh, the enemy tank uh, beats him so I can go over there and I can get me a Radley Walters. Or I can get a really lucky shot to finish him off. Look at that, a really lucky snapshot. Uh, only had 100 hit points left, and we ended up uh, getting the Radley Walters at the end of that. All right, tankers, on that one, we ended up getting 40,000 silver, 7,306 experience with our daily double for the first one of the day. We got a high caliber, 2,358 damage. We got our ace tanker, 99%. Um, we have 25 penetrations for that 2,358 damage, and that gave us a top gun, a sniper, like I said, a Piscucci's medal, Devastator, and a Radley Walters. So let me just show you those really quick. Alright, so there you go. Um, Anyhow, I'll go to the team stats here in just a second. Um, we got a lot of base experience on this. At uh, 2,029 base experience. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and let you guys check that out on your own. Until next time, fellow tankers, you guys go out and kill some shit. I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. And don't forget, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel and like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out greatly. Anyway, we'll see you later.